Jesus himself did not directly enter politics, but the kingdom of God which he came to establish transforms the whole of a society, including its politics. Today we see how the gospel affects political realities. While Luke reminds us that Jesus began his ministry during the 15th year of the Roman Emperor Tiberius. Jesus, too, was a subject of the Romans. Most people in Jesus' days expected that the promised Messiah would free them from Roman oppression. They were sure God would send a new Moses with a similar political task. A whole succession of political leaders had arisen and they initiated one revolt against Rome after another. When Jesus was a teenager, Judas the Galilean led thousands of followers into battle. He was defeated. During Jesus' public ministry, some armed Galileans started riots in Jerusalem. Pontius Pilate, the governor, struck back with great force. His troops killed many near the pool of Siloam. What was Jesus' attitude to all this? He too resented, we can be sure, the injustices inflicted on the people. But he did not advocate the use of violence to right the wrongs. If someone forces you to carry his pack a thousand steps, he said, carry it for him two thousand more. Making people carry luggage is exactly what the Roman soldiers often did. When the disciples want to defend Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus says, put your swords back. Who fights with the sword will die by the sword. Jesus believed violence should not be overcome by violence, but by love. Jesus was anxious not to give the impression that he offered himself as a political leader. He avoided calling himself the Messiah because of the misguided popular expectations attached to that title. He did not defend himself by force. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, Turn to him the other, he taught. He did not enter Jerusalem on horseback as a general, but sitting on a donkey. On more than one occasion, he refused to be made king by the people. Jesus knew he would bring about more lasting and revolutionary changes if he stuck to his prophetic leadership.